This is Air Guns Nirvana with a detailed look at how I added a DVR to my DIY night vision. As always, full build details will be in the description. Also, well, although I've made some tweaks to this particular design, I originally came across this setup on the YouTube channel Rollade's Bench. He has a wealth of information about illuminators, different ways of uh, mounting uh, different types of security cameras to different types of optics. Uh, like I said, wealth of information, good channel to check out for uh, greater details, different uh, setups, other, you know, other than this one. One of the tweaks that I made is I needed to turn the scope base into an actual scope cap, so I had to drill out the threaded portion um, of the scope base, like I said, turn it into a cap. Uh, in night vision mode, this particular scope, the, the turret cap here, um, kept the, the rail from being uh, flat with the scope. It wouldn't let the camera look through at a proper angle, so in night mode, just take that cap off and that takes care of that. In the previous setup, I had a power supply mounted here and a backup camera monitor uh, mounted here. And I just I wasn't pleased with how much weight, it didn't add a lot of weight, but more than I cared for uh, actually to the gun. So I decided to uh, send the power remotely as well as the video signal. So this happens to be a bit of cordage from an old-fashioned style telephone uh, handset. I soldered the leads directly to the video as well as the power leads here on the camera. And that goes to a setup that I wear around my neck and the cable is velcroed here. There is a power supply inside the pack. The video signal goes to the little mini DVR. Some cable comes out of the DVR into the, uh, the setup for video goggles. I took and stripped the video goggles down as much as I could. The, uh, they kept slipping off my face uh, when I would look around or, or moved a lot or whatever. just wasn't comfortable, so I disassembled them as much as I could and then zip-tied them uh, to a baseball cap. So in this setup, I'm able to sling the power supply and the DVR around my neck, put the cap on, get the little monitors lined up for line of sight. I'm still able to look down underneath the, uh, the monitors to know where I am, know what's going on, but somewhat look up to, uh, to see whatever the signal is coming from the, uh, the night vision camera. So the DVR is Velcroed here to the front of the pack. Whenever um, it first powers on, the signal from the video goes directly to the screen. There's an on-screen display that allows you to tweak video resolution, contrast, some other things, as well as sending the signal from this screen uh, to the video out that then goes to the, the headset. So the camera that I'm using does not have a microphone built into it, so I'm unable to capture audio uh, with this setup, but... Um, I find the, the video quality to be acceptable. Um, I think it does a really good job. I'm going to take and uh, post some clips uh, here at the end. Uh, first set will be uh, some shots taken in the afternoon from my uh, back patio out to about uh, 20 yards uh, on some soda cans. The next uh, set of clips will be taken at the same distance. Uh, but taken at night uh, using a, a, a close range uh, IR illuminator. And then the last set of clip, or the last clip itself, will be uh, the, the video that I took when I was in East Texas uh, at my brother's place. I was standing approximately 40, 
45 yards uh, from his tr uh, from his truck, and you'll see where I, you know it's not the steadiest of video. I apologize for that. I'm kind of panning around, but uh, you will notice that when I'm uh, as I pan around, I'm uh, using the zoom feature uh, on the scope as well as the uh, on that particular scope, it's a side focusing scope. To get the best quality image out of the DIY setup, a front adjustable objective or a side adjustable objective um, is really necessary to get a crisp image regardless of, di of distance. As the distances change and the magnification changes when you're trying to identify what it is that you're shooting at, you really want to get a good sharp uh, picture. So uh, the last clip shows that in pretty good detail. Truck's about 45, 50 yards off. There's a large pine tree behind it. It's approximately 75 yards and then kind of a driveway off behind that. Uh, those trees, you know, about 100 yards uh, out uh, using uh, a more intense uh, IR illuminator. I hope you've enjoyed the information that was given. Please feel free to post questions and comments. I'll do my best to answer any question I can. Thank you and have a good day.